are so good. Sierra just walked through the door, which <laughs> made all our jaws drop completely because we weren't expecting that. I remember she did Ariel as well on The Little Mermaid and I was in New York when she was doing it. And I remember being like, oh my gosh. Nothing can really prepare these girls for what is about to happen and especially the girls that will ultimately become the leading lady. What is it like to have to maintain the energy of doing eight shows a week? There's a bit of pressure that comes with being a leading lady, but you're getting ready for that kind of schedule with what you've been doing with this show. So it's a lifestyle change. It's not just a job. And you know that all the eyes are on you. It starts making us think, oh my gosh, that's what my life could be like if I win this competition. What's the difference between, you know, performing for a TV audience and then having to perform in a big auditorium? You'll have to think about projecting. Your movements will have to be bigger. You have to make sure that you're performing to the highest balcony as well. There's people all the way back there and they're just as important. So nice to have an actual leading lady from one of Andrew's shows come and chat to us. It really has inspired us and made us want this so much more. The best advice I could give you is Play the part as if your life depended on it. It has to be that serious or else nobody else is going to care. Currently lighting up the West End and here performing Love Never Dies, please welcome Sierra Bogus. Joy than you can bear. 